Now, back to your earlier comment concerning mm -hmm. the Mike Norvell uh, recruiting efforts, it has been impressive. Now, we are sitting here in mid-March, and those commitments have to hold until at least December, if not February. So Florida State fans should be have a cautionary yeah. tale to a certain extent because, as you have mentioned a number of times, Jason, to set you up here, the season win total could be crucial. Absolutely. I feel like that, and once again, this is why I've said this the last couple of seasons, that Notre Dame game is so important. Florida State has to come out in the Notre Dame game and play like a Florida State team that we know they're capable of. The Florida State team who kind of, for lack of a better term, played the way they did in the first half against Notre Dame this season, where they were competitive, they were in it. I don't fully, and, and I will I will be there, I'll be rooting for the Knowles, chopping up the whole time. I don't expect Florida State to win that opener against Notre Dame, but I need it to be competitive. 10 points, 14 points, something close, that's what you need. You need that, you need to split the rivalry games, at least one win over a Miami or Florida. You know, and we'll talk about that over the course of the summer, who they may have a better chance of, of getting a win against. I think you have to do that. You have to make some momentum because you can't go out there and lay an egg against Notre Dame, Clemson, Miami, Florida, North Carolina, and then expect to keep all these recruits. I think you'll keep a decent amount of them. I think Travis Hunter stays. I think, I think uh, Devon Mortimer is one of these guys who will stay with Florida State. But if they play like they've played the last three or four seasons – you're not going to see that current class that's ranked number ninth end up signing come early signing day in December. Is there some type of connection between Travis Hunter and Florida State because he's not a Florida kid? He's from Georgia. We're talking about one of the four best players in the country, regardless of position. We're talking about. <laughs> he's a guy who, you know, you know, we've talked about him right now. He's the number one player in the state of Georgia, you know, from up in Swanee, Georgia. Number two in his position, fourth ranked national. He's a top five national player right now. And currently right now, Florida State has two of the top 35 players in both him and Sam McCall from uh, Lakeland's Lake Gibson High School. I think with Hunter, is, and we've talked about this in the past, he's a guy who sees that potential from Florida State, but he also sees that exposure. He sees that he is probably going to be on the playing field inside Doe Campbell Stadium getting serious reps on either offense or defense, or as Logan says, Logan believes he'll be – on both, both sides of the ball, he just may. But he's going to be on national TV against Notre Dame. He's going to be on national TV against Clemson. He's going to be on national TV against Miami, against Florida, against North Carolina. There's nearly half the schedule nationally televised. Greatest example of that would be Antonio Brown. Antonio Brown grew up down here in Miami, wanted to go to Florida State, grew up a Florida State football fan, ended up at, I believe it was Western Michigan, Central Michigan, one of the directional Michigan schools. And he always said that one of the reasons was, and, and you know this as a, as a Kent State grad, as a Mac school grad, the Maction games in, in late October and November, they're all on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. Yeah, you're not going to be playing for a national title, but you're going to be on national television. You're going to be exposed. You have a big game on national TV. That's what you're going to get. Sorry, John, the counter is reset to one. I apologize, guys. I've missed two shows out of 97. I do sincerely apologize. But that's why it's going to be. I think Travis Hunter sees that Florida State's potential is there. I think this Florida State team will be better than they were last season and the year before. I do seriously believe that. That's not just the fandom talking. I believe they will be better. And I think he wants to be part of that. And he sees that as bad as Florida State was last season, they will have plenty of chances for him to play early and often. He's going to play defensive back in a secondary that, aside from Asante Samuel, was god-awful. 